In this video today, I'm going to show you how I take the 360 footage that I take from my Insta360 ONE R camera and prepare them to view as VR in my VR headset. And so let's begin. So I've connected my camera to my Windows 10 PC and I have copied all of the files on the camera to a folder in my Windows 10 PC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort them by type. All I'm interested in are the 360 files. So I'm going to start with the INSP files. These are just the still 360 images. These are not the video. These are still images. So I am going to select all of these, and then I'm going to click and drag it into my Insta360 app on my Windows 10 PC. So I click and drag them now into my Insta360 Studio 2022 app on the Windows 10 PC. And it's parsing the metadata and all the projects, creating the projects of all the still images. And we end up now with a list of all the still 360 images that we had. So I'm going to double click on this top one just to make sure it's selected. Then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the list. And I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the bottom file. Then I'm coming over here to the right hand side of the screen and for stabilization type, I want to make sure that automatic horizon leveling is selected. Then in stitching, I want to make sure that optical flow stitching and chromatic calibration are selected. And then for media processing, I want to make sure that color plus is selected. And now I'm ready to export these 360 photos. So I'll click the start export button. And where I want to put these, I've, pre I've created a file on my desktop that I've just called temp. And so that's where I'm going to put them. I want to do the original resolution and automatic horizon leveling. And then I want to start the export. Oops. I forgot to select folder here when I selected that. And then I'm going to start export. And now I'm just going to wait while this processes all the different files. And as soon as that's finished, we'll be back. All right, now it has finished exporting all of the files that were just created. So we are now back to our Insta360 app, and I'm going to click on the local files icon up here. And I'm just going to hit the delete key and remove all of those JPEG. Well, actually, I'm going to hit the delete footage down at the bottom. And now back in the folder where we have our raw data files that we copied from the camera, now we are going to select all the INSV files. These are the 360 video files. And we're going to do the same as what we did with the JPEG. We are going to select them all and then drag them into the Insta Studio. So now I'm going to click and drag these INSV files into the Insta360 Studio. And so now along the left here, you can see all our different video files that we've got. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did for the still pictures. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, hold down the Shift key, and select them all. Then we're going to come up here to the stabilization type. Make sure that flow state 
stabilization and directional lock are both selected. And for stitching, just use whatever it comes up with for the stitching here. But you want to make sure that the optical flow stitching and chromatic calibration are both selected. Then for media processing, you want to make sure that color plus is selected. Then you're going to want to come to start the export. You want to export as 360 videos. You want to do the original resolution, change the bitrate quality to extremely high, and you want to remove the grain and check direction lock. And we want to make sure that we're going to go to the same folder that we put our JPEGs, which is the temp folder on our desktop. So we'll select this folder and we'll start the export. And then this is going to take quite a while to do. When it's finished, we'll be back. OK, we are back. It took about six hours to process all of those video files. But what we've got now in our temp folder is we have all the JPEG files that we created earlier. These are the 360 still photos. And then we have all these MP4 files. These are 360 video files. All right, over on the left here, I have my CyberLink PowerDirector 19 open. And we are going to take all these files we created with the Insta360 Studio. Going to drag both the JPEGs and the MP4s up into the media content window and wait for all of them to load. OK, and now we just start to select from these different videos and still images to create our VR footage. And so for this first example that I'm going to do, I'm going to select all the different files of when I just took a walk out to the helipad on a recent cruise that I went on. So I'll start by just filtering on the videos only so I can find the video content of that particular trip. And so I'm going to scroll down, and here we go right here. So we've got this one. And the first one that you drag down, it recognizes it's a 360 video, so you want to select 360. And I'm going to shorten the timeline here. This is also related to that. And it remembers your selection. It's going to bring them all in as 360. And so these were all part of the VR of when I was going out to the helipad. And maybe this one also. This is when I was walking away from it. Now, if you want to see what it's going to look like, up here in the preview window, you want to make sure that the 360, Enable 360 Viewer Mode is selected. So now in each of these video clips, we want to set the starting direction that we're going to select. So I'm going to select my first clip here. I'm going to expand this out a little bit. And you come up to Tools. And we're going to do the 360 Start View setting. I'm going to set the Y rotation to 180 degrees. Do the same thing for the next clip. Go up to Tools, 360 Start View Setting, the Y Rotation. I'm going to set to 180 degrees. And repeat these for all of them.
And if you want to see what it's going to look like, you can hit the play and it will go through your 360 video going in the direction that you want to go. And if you're in the VR, of course you can look around in any direction as you're going. But it's going to start in the direction you told it to go and it will stay in that direction in the recording and then in the VR you can change the direction. And so So here you see the different parts of the video that we have selected. And there's actually one more video that's related to this, and so I'm going to click and drag it down also, and also go to Tools and start the view setting to 180 degrees. Now you can set the initial view to anything that you want. But this is just what uh, I've selected for most of my videos. All right, so now we want to start dragging in the related JPEG files. So up here, I am going to view the images only. And then I'm going to look and find the different files that are related to my trip out to the heli deck. And so I'm going to just scroll down here until I find them. All right, so they're right here, these four files. And so I'm going to click and drag them down to the timeline about where I think they belong. And so when I look at the video, these are all while we're still on the heli pad. And this is when I'm leaving. So this particular clip right here is when I'm leaving the heli pad. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag these still images and insert and move all clips and let's take a look at this one. Okay, that one was when I was on the front, so I want to Take a look if I want that in a different position. Yeah, so this one, this particular one, I'm going to click and drag right after that. Then I will expand this a little bit. And I want to give enough time for people, when we get to the still clips here, enough time for people to look around in the VR. So I'm going to set the time for each of these four clips to maybe 10 seconds. So I'm going to select them all, and then this is the duration button right here. And I'm going to change those all to 10 seconds. So that will give the person plenty of time to see what they need to see. And so now, If I bring in my timeline a little bit here. Good morning. All right, and this is where our video is ending up. And so this is the first still image after that. And so we're going to want it to have about the same scene. So we're going to go to Tools, 360 Start View Setting and the Y rotation, 180 degrees. And so we've got almost the same view as the other. Now this one is a, starting a different shot, and this is with the camera that was on a tripod pointing back towards me. And so we'll just keep it that way. And the same with this one and the same with this one. And so all of these still images will have, the viewer in VR will have 10 seconds to just look around for each of those particular still images. And then uh, now we have everything loaded on here. 
that we want. So now we want to do the final editing that we want to do on these particular files. Okay, so now what we're going to do is our final editing for each of the clips on the timeline. So I'm going to select the first clip, come up to Fix Enhance, and I'm going to select Edge Enhancement, Color Enhancement, and HDR Effect. And then I'm going to Apply to All. And repeat with the second clip. Actually, when we did apply to all, it did apply to all the clips on the timeline. So we've got that done now. And now we're ready to produce our 360 video. And so you're going to come up here and select Produce. I'm going to select the H264 AVC. Now I have a profile that is called 360 Video 5K. PowerDirector cannot export 360 video in 5K. The best it can do is 4K. And so there is a hack that I found on, on YouTube. And I will put the link right here for that. And so I have done this hack to get the highest quality video that I can possibly get. And so if you come up to edit, you can see here that uh, the settings here are the high resolution settings that you'd get. So by just doing the instructions like the, what the fellow says in the YouTube video that I just shared with you, you should be able to also get this quality of video. So now under export folder here, all of my PowerDirector uh, files export into this folder. So I am just going to put here, this is the walk to helipad. And in the beginning, I'll put Insta360 VR Walk to Helipad. And that will be the name of the file that's going to be created, the MP4 file, which will be the final VR file that you can upload to your VR headset. And so now I'll just pre click Start. And then we'll wait until the video is produced. And when it's finished, we'll be back. OK, and our processing is finished. It took approximately two to three hours to complete the file. It was about a nine minute file, and it ended up being about nine gigabytes in size. And so roughly, you get about one gigabyte for every minute of uh, VR video that you produce. And that concludes the main part of this video. And if you're interested, I will have a VR walkthrough of this file on my VR headset. So if not, if you're not interested in watching that, I guess you can end the video here. And thank you for watching. Morning. Morning.
morning.